The intake of the Inspector General of Police designate David Mole Kimayo has an urgent matter that needs to be addressed even before he's sworn in. Jinaki me kwa gazette rasmi to tapisha jumatatu asupui na baada ya kuapishwa saa mbili mimi mwenyewe nikiandamana na waziri wa mambo ya sheria pamoja na huyo AG tutafika hapo tarehe delta jumatatu The first assignment for a man will be the first ever inspector general of police in Kenya if sworn in Monday Amani 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 heading to a region which has been rocked by a spate of killing since August 2012 the latest attack has seen the death toll of those killed in the Friday massacre rise to 43 after two decomposing bodies were found in the bushes in Kipau. <laughs> this according to internal security minister Kato Olemetito will never happen again. Were the police outnumbered? We ask the minister. The answer, no. The police contingent on the ground is not 2,000 but 600. We deployed at once uh, in the month of September 2000 of them. They have been there for quite some time and uh, we all thought that peace has been restored and then uh, because of other demanding areas uh, in this country, we have uh, released some to other areas. The police today are toothless. How do we expect a policeman to be facing somebody who is already armed when he cannot be able to shoot? This at a time when the Institute for Education in Democracy, IED, and the Elections Observation Group says it has noted a pattern of violence targeting people perceived to have registered as voters in volatile areas. We are asking the government, which is responsible for the security of all Kenyans, to ensure that there is peace and order, especially in the Tana River, to enable Kenyans who have registered in those areas to remain in those areas so that they can vote. The White House has also released a statement urging community leaders and the Kenyan government to intensify efforts to bring opposing factions together in the Tana Delta to end the violence and to ensure all Kenyans participate in fair and credible elections in March 2013. And I served quite well. Will the swearing in of the Inspector General of Police mark the end of the senseless killings? Judicos Gay, Sunday Live.